Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Boss Dishwasher Control Module. It's going to be a very easy repair and it only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new control module. The control module is where you make your selections. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's failed and it's not responding to your inputs. In order to change the part, we have to take the door apart. First thing we're going to do is use the Torque 20 driver to remove the screws that hold the handle on. Once you have the screws out, we can open up the door. Once you have the door open, we're going to use the Torque 20 driver again to take out all the screws. When you're taking these out, remember that the three bottom ones are shorter than the ones that go across the control panel. So when you're putting it back together, don't mix them up. Once you have these off across the top, we're just going to hold it and then take out the other ones along the side. Once you have all the screws out, we're going to close the door. Now that you have the door closed, we're going to let the outer panel drop off a little bit. We're just going to reach in and disconnect this wiring harness on the left. There's a little locking tab right here. You have to lift up on so we can pull the harness out. Once you have the wiring harness disconnected, we're going to lift up on the door and swing it over to the side. Now we're going to remove the wiring harnesses. There's two on the control and one down below. They all have locking tabs on them, so you have to lift up on them. Once you have them disconnected, we're going to take the wiring harnesses out of the holders. There's a holder right here, but ours is broken off, so you're going to have to take these out and then take them all out in between these two holders. If you have to, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to help get them out. Once you have all the wires out, we're going to lift the control panel off and set it on the counter. You want to make sure you have a towel down so you don't damage anything. And then we're going to set the outer door panel aside. First thing we're going to do is take out the handle. It's in here, just snapped into the control panel. There's a locking tab on each end. We're just going to use a small flathead screwdriver to press on it. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. Then we can take the control module out. It's going to be a little tricky. There's basically one, two, three, four, five locking tabs on this side that we have to lift up on and get them to release while pulling on the module down so they don't lock back in. And then we have to turn it over and unclip these four right here to get it to release. You just want to use a small flathead screwdriver to release the tabs.
Once you have them all released, we can pull the control module out and off of the control panel. Here's the old control module next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new control module in, all you have to do is set it in place and line it up. You want to make sure it lines up with the opening here and with the locking tabs. And once you have it lined up, you can push it up and lock it in place. Then you want to turn it over. Make sure that these locking tabs are all in. And then we can put the handle back on. All you have to do is line the handle up and snap it in place. Once you have it snapped in, we can put the assembly back in. Now we're going to take the control panel and set it back into the inner door. All you have to do is line it up and set it down into place. Once you have it in, we can reroute the wires. going to route the wires into the holder. Once you have the wires routed, we can reconnect the wires. Get the yellow one up here. And then the one with all the red wires. And then we can reconnect the lower one. All I have to do is line it up and push it in. Once you have it in place, we're going to swing the door over and lift it up onto the door hinges. Once you have it on the hinges, we're just going to reconnect the left wiring harness. All you have to do is push it in and lock it in place. Once you have the wire connected, I'm going to grab the inner door panel. And then when you're lowering it, you want to make sure you push in on the lower part of the door by the hinges so that the door doesn't fall off the hinges. Once you have it open, we can use the Torque 20 driver to put the screws in. You want to remember that the three ones on each door panel are the shorter screws, and the longer ones go to hold the control panel in. Once you have all the screws in, we can close the door. Now we're going to use the Torque 20 driver to put in the screws to hold the handle on. Now that we have the dishwasher put back together, you can plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.